the Philippine Air Force PAF, is currently evaluating Saab J-39 Gurpin and Lockheed Martin F-16V fighter jets for its multi-role fighter MRF, project. Philippine News Agency reported citing Department of National Defense DND, Secretary Delfin Lorenzana. One of the aircraft being evaluated is from Sweden, the Saab J-39 Gurpin, and the other is the American General Dynamics F-16V. Lorenzana said when sought for updates on the MRF which is being eyed to beef up the country's air defense system, he did not give additional details on the process, according to the PNA report. The MRF project is part of Horizon 2 of the Armed Forces of the Philippines Modernization Program slated for 2018-2022, which aims to acquire more equipment for external defense. The aircraft selected for the project must be able to integrate with existing radar systems that have a range of around 250 nautical miles. The Saab Jess 39 Gurpin is a light single-engine multi-role fighter aircraft manufactured by the Swedish aerospace company Saab. The aircraft has a delta wing and canard configuration with relaxed stability design and fly-by-wire flight controls. It is powered by the Volvo Room 12 after burning turbofan jet engine and has a top speed of Mach 2. The General Dynamics, now Lockheed Martin, F-16 Fighting Falcon is a single-engine supersonic multi-role fighter aircraft originally developed by General Dynamics. Its aviation unit is now part of Lockheed Martin for the U.S. Air Force, USAF. The F-16B, Viper, is the latest and most advanced variant of the F-16. The core of the F-16V configuration is an active electronically scanned array, ESA, radar, the Northrop Grumman ANAPG-83 Scalable Agile Beam Radar, SABR, a modern commercial off-the-shelf, COTS, based avionics subsystem, a large format, high-resolution display, and a high volume. These proposed fighter jets are expected to augment PAF's existing fleet of 12 South Korean Kai F-A-50 PH Fighting Eagle light combat aircraft acquired from 2015 to 2017. The F-A-50 PH is the first supersonic aircraft operated by the PAF after the decommissioning of its Northrop F-5 Tiger jet fighters in 2005. The F-A-50PH is the PAF version of the Kai F-A-50 aircraft which is the light attack variant of the T-50 Golden Eagle supersonic advanced trainer aircraft. This jet doesn't have the capability of fully-fledged multi-role fighter jets such as F-16 and Gurpin. The F-35 Joint Program Office, U.S. Air Force and Lockheed Martin have started integrating the Automatic Ground Collision Avoidance System, Auto GCAS, onto Air Force F-35 as in the fleet. Leveraging a rapid, agile development, test and contracting approach, the joint government and industry team successfully fielded the life-saving technology seven years earlier than previously planned. This is a great day for the warfighter as the Auto GCAS is a proven system that is long overdue, said Lt. Gen. Eric Fick, F-35 Program Executive Officer. Expediting this life-saving technology into the F-35 across the global fleet will bring more warfighters home. Over the service life of the F-35 fleet, having Auto GCAS is estimated to prevent more than 26 ground collisions from happening. It is indeed a remarkable achievement in aeronautics which will improve the performance, efficiency, and safety of the F-35, originally developed for the F-16 in partnership with NASA and the Air Force Research Laboratory AFRL, Auto GCAS uses terrain mapping, geolocation and automation to detect and avoid potential ground collisions. When the program recognizes imminent impact, it will prompt the pilot to take action. If the pilot is unresponsive, Auto GCAS assumes temporary control to divert the aircraft out of harm's way, and then returns control of the aircraft to the pilot once on a safe trajectory. The system has been operating successfully aboard the F-16 for more than five years and has already been credited with saving eight F-16 pilots' lives since 2014. Early integration of Auto GCAS in the F-35 is bringing game-changing safety capability to a rapidly growing fleet. 
it couldn't have come at a better time as we near full rate production resulting in more aircraft and pilots exposed to rigorous missions, said LT Col. Darren Wees of the Air Force's F-35 Integration Office. Many thanks to the tenacious efforts of many organizations primarily the Air Force Research Lab, Air Force Test Center, Lockheed Martin and the F-35 Joint Program Office who made this a technical reality as well as the U.S. services and F-35 partner nations that ensured its inclusion in the program. These efforts have already saved lives and aircraft in the F-16, and will save lives in the F-35. Auto GCAS was originally slated for delivery in the 2026 timeframe. To accelerate the technology, AFRL and Lockheed Martin conducted positive feasibility studies and the F-35 Joint Program Office and Lockheed Martin then implemented an agile approach to develop the technology for integration on the F-35. The 412th test wing at Edwards Air Force Base then completed a rigorous flight testing program to validate its performance and safety, which led to the wing's formal recommendation to field auto GCAS aboard the F-35. The F-35 is the most survivable fighter jet in the world today, and the addition of auto GCAS will further enhance safety and save lives, said Greg Ulmer, Lockheed Martin's vice president and general manager of the F-35 program. The safe and effective acceleration of this technology is a testament to the joint government and industry team partnering in an agile environment to deliver life-saving capability to our men and women in uniform, significantly sooner than planned. U.S. Air Force F-35As are the first to receive auto GCAS, and the system will next be integrated aboard the F-35B and F-35C variants. The Auto GCAS team was recently recognized with the National Aeronautic Association's 2018 Robert J. Collier Trophy, and received the prestigious award in June of 2019. With stealth technology, advanced sensors, supersonic speed, weapons capacity and superior range, the F-35 is the most lethal, survivable and connected aircraft in the world. More than a fighter jet, the F-35's ability to collect, analyze and share data, is a powerful force multiplier that enhances all airborne, surface and ground-based assets in the battle space enabling men and women in uniform to execute their mission and return home safely. German Air Force Eurofighter Typhoon aircraft on duty with NATO's Baltic Air Policing Mission scrambled three times from Amari Air Base in Estonia on Wednesday 21st November 2018, to intercept four Russian military aircraft over the Baltic Sea. NATO radars picked up the signal of an aircraft flying out of Kaliningrad near the Lithuanian coastline at 8.30 a.m. local time. Since the plane had not filed a flight plan, two Eurofighters took to the sky and conducted a visual identification of a Russian N-26 transport aircraft an hour later. A second track was picked up at approximately 10.30 a.m. and a Eurofighter launched to escort a Russian MiG-29 fighter aircraft flying close to NATO airspace. Later the same day, Allied radars picked up two further aircraft tracks leaving mainland Russia. Two Eurofighters launched to execute a visual identification of two Russian IL-76 strategic transport aircraft, which had not filed a flight plan. NATO's Baltic Air Policing Mission has helped to monitor and protect the integrity of Estonia, Latvia and Lithuania's airspace since the three nations joined the alliance in 2004. Different NATO nations take turns providing rotations of fighters to provide this capability, in a strong sign of allied solidarity. Yesterday's intercepts demonstrated the preparedness and vigilance of the German detachment and NATO's Air Command in Ramstein which coordinated the intercepts.